Hi folks, welcome back. I'm Dave. If you're brand new to the channel, welcome. Please make sure you subscribe and click on the bell to stay notified. For those returning, great to have you back. Please be sure, make sure you smash the like button and let's get on with it. So, what are my thoughts for today? Okay, bridges must be built before they can be burned. Never be the one to light the match. I like to keep it nice and simple. What do I mean? Well, simple. If you haven't got a bridge, you can't burn it. Okay, you've got to build a bridge before anyone can burn it down. So, in any conflict, and let's go back to the, the, the actual original analogy, you know, don't burn your bridges, okay? In any conflict, you've got to reach out to the other side, you've got to try and find the common ground, you've got to try and find what makes the other side tick, you've got to try and reason with each other before you can end conflict. Okay? You've both got to try and build bridges towards each other, meet in the middle, and end that conflict. Okay? Sometimes, sometimes those bridges collapse. In, in, in wars, talks fall out, yeah? The, the, the talks collapse. This happens. Bridges collapse, they can be rebuilt. But you keep trying. Okay? But when one party burns that bridge, it makes it very, very difficult for that other side to want to continue building. Okay? And, and this is why I add that bit on the end, okay? Never be the one to light the match, because if you burn that bridge, if you are the one that burns that bridge, then why should the other side continue to try? Okay? Now, as far as I'm concerned, if you burn the bridge, the onus is then on you to then try and re-establish the negotiation, for you to try and rebuild the bridge first, okay? I'm not saying that once bridges are burnt, you can't start again and rebuild bridges to gain. You can, okay? Of course you can. But it's very difficult. It's so much more difficult once bridges are burnt, okay? And it's so much more difficult for you if you are the one who burnt it. So, it's so important that we always try and reach out to the other side in a conflict. And by trying, we give the other side that opportunity to do the same. If it collapses, we both try, it continues. If one reaches out, one builds their half of the bridge, the other one doesn't, at least we know that the half of the bridge is there, we're reaching out and it's waiting for the other side. Okay? It's half of the job. Once one side burnt it, I'm not saying, I'm not saying that once somebody has burned that bridge, you must rebuild it if they rebuild. Okay? There are circumstances where once somebody's burned that bridge, then you you have no obligation to them. Okay? I'm, I'm not going to cite domestic violence here, okay? If somebody burns their bridge by their actions or by their words, and, and this is why I say domestic violence, okay? If somebody burns their bridges and then they think that they can then rebuild, you have a choice. Just because that person decides that they want to rebuild, you have no obligation. They burnt the bridge. They showed that unwillingness. They showed that malice. You do not have to rebuild. You can. It is your choice. They have to go that extra way. They have had to put the extra onus on themselves to start. But you do not have to join them and go along with it, okay? So, my analogy here, put no onus whatsoever on you if the other person burns that bridge, okay? And I want to be absolutely clear on that, okay? But the choice is always there. Now, 
Where does this put us in relation to what's going on at the moment? Well, I'm rattling a few cages by the looks of it, okay? I believe, in my opinion, that as a white male, that nobody owes me anything, okay? Fair enough. Although I personally may not have done or said anything that directly contributed, I have still benefited from a society and a system which has contributed to the oppression of other groups. Okay, those groups do not owe me anything. Okay, women, people of colour, the LGBTQ community do not owe me anything. They have been oppressed for so long and they have reached out and they have been reaching out and they have been put down and bridges have probably, more than likely, been burned on more than one time one one occasion and some of us are trying to rebuild those and others seem determined to keep burning them okay but they owe us nothing they do not owe us to explain themselves to us okay but we do owe it to them to continue to try and rebuild those links because if we continue to try and rebuild, for us to try and re-establish that common ground, for us to try and make up for what has happened, and you know, with everything that's gone on over the uh, the generations, can we make up for it? No, but we can move forward, okay? And that's what we need to do. And we're not going to do that by being defensive and saying, yeah, but it wasn't me. Yeah, that's not the way we're going to do it. So we need now to be the one building the bridges, not the one lighting the match. Okay, people are angry. They have a right to be angry. We now need to be the one building bridges, not the one continuing to burn them. Okay, folks, nice short video today. Probably rattle a few more cages. I really don't care if I'm rattling cages because my message, as far as I'm concerned, puts me on the right side of history. Okay, I'm here trying to make sure that everybody gets the same rights, and I'm here to make sure that those rights are the same for literally everybody. I don't care what colour you are. I don't care whether you're male, female, trans, gay, bi. You know, tick all the boxes for me. I want everybody to have the same rights. Okay, so. Let's build the bridges. Let's stop burning them. Stop getting defensive. Stop reaching out to each other. Build bridges. Don't burn them. See you all again soon.